and we are out we have already crossed the road and as you can see it's muddy and we have to cross this muddy field well field patch green because this one wants to walk here Prida Lulamo Aide Lulamo Oh Yeah So yeah, this uh, video will be of course uh, published when I will be already in Austria So I was thinking let's talk about my favorite means of transportation no it is a bus so my ultimate mode means type of transportation would be train oh there is a ambulance approaching so we will stopped here and filmed the ambulance you will see her howling episode <coughs> and she still has something to say of course no pretty no pretty griva As I was trying to say, you will see her howling episode just after this one, this video. But yeah, the, my favorite means of transportation is train, and it always has been. You know, usually when you are on the train, you are a passenger. You are not, you know, let's say, responsible for anything. You are not the driver in charge of the vehicle. And thus, you are the most likely to be comfortable, not bothered by conditions. And usually from all the other means, you have the most it's the most comfortable experience of course i have been on the trains that were basically well some were actually you know museum pieces so uh, slovenian railways have some you know museum trains that they have you know some special scenic um, tours let's say also on you know regular routes or even disused or seldomly used uh, railway tracks and yeah but um, even you know usually this let's say older trains which have you know bas basic you know wooden um, seats and so forth are in my opinion still more comfortable for you know long journeys because you know a you can stretch your legs b if you want to stretch even more your legs you can walk around the train you know There is, of course, you know, bathroom on them. Na pridi, Lizzy, greva. Na pridi, na dej, na bod firbac. Na bod firbac. She had to sniff the two men. Ja, noisy nearly. So, yeah, you know, and in some cases, you know, they even have, you know, a buffet car, a restaurant car. 
Yeah. I always, you know, like to um, be on a train because when I was, you know, on the train I could read or anything else. Which is interesting, if I would be on a, on a bus or back of the car and if I would be trying to read, I would get, you know, um, nauseous, seasick let's call it road sick so yeah and then basically let's say bus and car are in let's say for me in equal second place um yeah usually small spaces if you are you know in a car and you have to drive you are then responsible but in any case you know not enough space at least for me to stretch my legs so yes and there is a dog wait yeah no pretty grave I need so yes since the basically things since basically let's say the, the let's say, second second to last or last year of elementary school I always had problems with you know um, being in tight spaces regarding you know leg room basically tight spaces I need to you know stretch my legs because if I have them you know let's say for for half an hour or up to hour um, not stretch fully or I cannot move you know it's very likely I will get cramps you know usually usually in the Thai muscle it will be very uncomfortable then so yeah then let's say on the third place I would I would um, place let's say a bicycle you know I used to a oh, little bit slippery right here so yeah you know you have a lot of freedom more freedom of movement than any other you know vehicle especially you know because you know trains are limited to tracks buses and cars to road but you know if you are on the bicycle no, you can go around well, officially not but yeah but of course the bad thing is you are providing the muscles you are the engine which results, you know, you being sweaty so, and tired and of course, as in my experience you are also quite vulnerable um, in danger you know quite easily to get in the car accident so yeah and basically I'm not even uh, speaking now about you know like modern you know devices you know or what uh, basically you know kids Vehicles, two doggos, Pridna. Eko, uvoha mose. Eko, Pridna. Pridni kuzi. So, you know, like, um, I don't know what it is. Um, 
uh, scooters and so forth and they are like uh, motorcycles and so forth so <laughs> those are I'm not even talking about them because I find them you know um, even less um, viable as a mean of transportation as you know a regular bike a bicycle because you know if you're a motorcycle you're once again limited to the road you need all the gear you know helmet and so forth yeah so basically i will not even rate them but my least enjoyable means of transportation would be you know an airplane yeah I don't like them so the first and so far the only time okay Lisa wants to go here okay let's go here um, oh, using an airplane as a mean of transportation was when I went to you know um, Estonia what was that two years ago three you know I took what I made four flights one was you know Ljubljana Warsaw and then uh, Warsaw uh, Tallinn and then basically back the same route and basically this is has this has uh, basically all the all the things that I don't like with um, transport a small spaces b let's uh, even though you know there is lavatory on there it's you know not spacious um but what i found most annoying besides you know not enough room is you know constant constant uh, ice 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 you know constant humming of engines yeah plus um another problem that i noticed but I, I basically i have the same problem when i'm in a car or a bus or whatever you know while, while you are driving let's say in the mountains you know high elevation um you know the you start getting you know um you know pressure in your head in your body start, you are starting to adjust to the, you know, different pressure and yeah usually that means even i if i go you know with a car just you know, driving up into the mountains usually it will result uh into um you know pressure building or affecting my um eardrums usually you know how they will pop and then i cannot make them unpop and you know basically and i need quite some time to adjust to that kind of situation so basically when we landed for the first time and yeah i know you know you can you know there are different methods to prevent you know chewing gum you know blowing your nose while keeping everything you know closed you know mouth and nose but it doesn't usually work for me so basically when i have landed in tallinn i believe i was basically deaf on right ear for two hours after we landed and of course then you know a little bit of headache follows so yeah 
Oh, it's cold, this wind. I don't know if you can see. My fingers are freezing. So, okay. Let's end on this point so I can warm my fingers.